Hello and welcome to March 3rd, recording for a trade that closed on March 1st, XLE at 296%, 155 days. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go look at the numbers. There we are, 296. This is from the TradeStation account, which is the big account, it's the prime account. And uh, we got in at 434. And let's go up to calculator. I'll clear that up. Okay, so clearing up the calculator, we have we have 0.34 got us 17.20 as a positive number divided by the 4.34 as a percentage, and we got 296. There it is, 296. That's a confirm. And the profit was eighty nine eighty nine. The cost was about three thousand fifty, I think it was. Okay, so let's go on to the next chart, and let's go look at the chart itself. Now, this trade was a um, XLE, one of the family of my trading strategies called Channel Breakout, and we got in on this trade here on the. September, we set the trade up on September 23 and got triggered on the 24th. The original intent was to go one single candle risk and go short term options like maybe 30 days. But the problem was that the options at 30 days were very out of whack. The A ask bid price was above 10%. The ask. The, the bid should not be greater than 10% of the ask. So if the ask is $5, then the bid, the bid price could be four fifty dollars or greater. So we started hunting through the XLE options back in September when we had the signal for the trade. And we ended up not finding anything uh, that was within those parameters. Yes, we went to the 30 days, the 60, 90 days. So when I reached the 90 days, then I switched to what I call the zone trading, which is here is an area where price has come down, revisited. And it also was very obvious back here, came down, bounced off here, retested, retested, bounced through here, and then come back up again. So this trade set up here was pretty good. But because we didn't find any options that were within the category of the, of, of the 10% rule, of the ask bid, the end result is we ended up accidentally getting a leaper all the way to January 23. The trade-off was that it was very much sideways for a long time. And as options traders, we would know that this is time decay. So every time you the day goes by, it chips away a little bit more of the value. And if the price stays pretty flat, it's big. It could be significant, but because we had this leaper and the leaper was set up for January 23 and we entered in September, well then consider we had still three months and almost two weeks before January 22, January 2022 would come into play. So that's like 15 months out. So as a result, the time decay chip would be very small. And then, as you can see, energy started rallying in the latter part of December. And that was brought on by the fear, which came out to reality, of the Russian invasion into Ukraine. And the various government agencies warned us it's coming, it's coming. Even Elon Musk said it was coming, and no one was like, was really well, they were paying attention, but more importantly, energy was paying attention. That's what caused this. And inflation, of course, contributes to that. Fear, fear of the unknown and fear of prices. So we have that. And then here on February 24th, right there, on the 24th, let me see if this is correct. The 24th is off, right there. That's the invasion day. So we got into the trade. By this time, of course, I was already above 200 and something ROI. But because this is a leaper, I do not use the standard rules of, uh, I do use the rules, 
but I don't apply the rules in the standard time frame. If it's a 30 day, I start looking toward exiting toward the last week of the trade. If it's not going in much in my favor, we're hawking some profit before expiration date and also to avoid getting signed. So that's for the 30, 60, 90 day position. For the 120 and they're out, I will then look and give it, give, give it an extra month before I start applying the extra rules. Well, what if this being a, a January 23 expiration, I wasn't looking toward doing any action on, on taking profit until probably next October of 2022. But what happened here was I had 300 ROI. I was sitting on the, it was indicating $9,000 in profit. As you saw, we took home 89.89. And I got a little ahead of myself. And the result was I put the stop here and it came down and tapped me out by ever so much a small penny. And all right, but I can't complain. Why? It was a profit exit at 296. 889 with an O, oh, 17,000. That's what that's there. This, this, the trades in my past failed to come through for me. And the end result, I accumulated $17,000 in debt. Now, with the, with the profit earned of 89.89, the new debt now is 8,335. So let's review in closing on this trade was, what did I did right? Well, what did I did right? I spelled right wrong. Let me correct that. What I did right was, that I stayed to the option criteria. Uh, criteria. And that was the, a, the ask bid price was too wide until I found the option that fit the criteria. And the funny thing was it was only one, even in January, 2023, only one option qualified. And that was the one, the strike price of $55 back in September. And this is called a diamond in the rough. What I did wrong was I did adhere to my exit rule. That was I needed to go to the last bar low. If I wanted to start getting out of an exit and I'm in profit, either I call the ball, which I did here, but more like more is to stay with this, let the profits run. And that is last bar low, last bar low, last bar low. So technically I would still be in the trade here today, but I'm not. Profits off the table, that's what counts. Now that was what does was the wrong better stick to course follow the rules and a lot of people get they have traders have a habit of bending the rules bending the rules are okay but when it calls for the bending of the rule you don't bend the rules on a wishy-washy so the result is that you and you, the, the, the theory of large numbers will work against you if you are not consistent in your trading rules uh, when you're in. So that is the conclusion of today's report with with the um, XLE at 296% in 155 days. And uh, drop me some comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, have any questions? And uh, how was it done? There we go. Take care and thank you very much for stopping by and checking it out.